Now, Andy Barrar has a thought or two on this. He's a tech expert. And, you know, whenever we hear these sorts of stories, first of all, it, it can be hard to differentiate the hoaxes from real cases, I mean, when you look online. So, so how common is this sort of thing, exploding batteries? If you look online, this has happened before, but it's extremely rare. Now, the technology in the battery is called lithium ion. It's been around since about 1991. When it first debuted, they had these problems, but then the manufacturers figured out ways to fix it. It's only when you get these knockoff batteries, they don't have the same safety precautions inside the batteries that the manufacturers put in to ensure that this doesn't happen to consumers. Right, but at the same time, I do feel like overheating batteries is, is, is an issue because I've had that happen on my phone depending on the, the kind of apps I'm running. I mean, I, I've installed a game or two and if I'm running you know, certain games, yeah. the phone will get really, really hot. Yeah, and if you tether your phone to create a mobile hotspot, then it gets really, really hot. Yeah. And what's happening inside the battery and why we see these problems, it's this thing called a thermal runaway. And it's similar to the feedback you get if you put a, a speaker and a microphone together and you hear that loop. Mm -hmm. What's happening inside the cells is one cell gets hot and it, it then transfers that heat to the next cell, which gets hot, which then, and it just kind of, it's a runaway train. And that's what happens with these batteries. The manufacturers have precautions between each cell to prevent that from happening. But when you get knockoffs, they don't put that, pr that precaution in inside their cells. Now, here's the question that I've been wondering. You know, if we, we've listened to Rose's story, yeah. and, you know, Hope Casserly says, this was the original phone, brand new, that yeah. I bought. It was at a Virgin Mobile kiosk, from our understanding. Samsung says, this wasn't an authorized battery. It wasn't the original Samsung battery. Is there some universe where both sides could be telling the truth? And, and yet somehow the battery was not an original and, and ended up exploding. I think so, Andrew. There's always that potential of this phone being returned to the kiosk and then they repackage it and sold it to someone else. Mm -hmm. And maybe there was a, someone switched the battery on there. Unless you open it and look in the back, and I have a Samsung yeah, uh, you, phone so, right here. So go ahead and open that up So for us. anybody, I know you have a Samsung as well. If you open it up, you'll see right here that on this battery it says Samsung. Yeah, it's clearly marked across the battery. Then you're going to know that this is um, from the manufacturer. If you, you can go online and buy batteries that are the exact same high, uh, size, but they're not from Samsung. And that's what you want to avoid because you don't get the protection that they put inside their own batteries. Andy Barrar, good to talk to you. Thank you.